Russell Dickerson and God gave me a girl on 101.7 KSAM Rodeo Radio. Hey, we well, haven't heard that one since the spring, but we're rolling it back out because coming up very soon, in fact, the second weekend in November, the Sam Houston Intercollegiate Rodeo is back in Huntsville where it belongs. Over the years and years, people have been used to driving down to Conroe to watch this rodeo, but now you don't have to do that anymore. The brand new Sam Houston Gibbs Ranch Rodeo Arena is ready, and it's going to be hosting a bunch of area colleges and universities. Their rodeo teams are coming in to compete against our Bearcats. We'll have more details coming soon, uh, but uh, we want you to make plans November 9th and 10th and the 11th. The main performances will be the 10th and the 11th and they're gonna have some slack and some other things going on uh, but it's going to be a fantastic weekend in november for the sam houston intercollegiate rodeo we're going to teach tracy how to rope a steer <laughs> yes that's the truth it's going to be fun details coming soon dan and shay here on 101.7 k sam playing today's best country in all of your favorites all right folks it's time for your five random facts for this Monday, October the 9th. We start at number five. The oldest player in NBA history was a guy named Nat Hickey. He was a coach of a team called the Providence Steamrollers in 1948. He was 45 years old and 363 days old when he activated himself for two games and he scored two points. Okay. Player coach, yeah, I guess that makes sense, sure. Number four, the last movie from a major studio with mono sound, which is just a single channel of audio, instead of stereo, with stereo, I should say, which is two channels, was Conan the Barbarian in 1982, before the major switch to what everybody now hears nowadays. Number three, it cost eight and a half cents to produce a hundred dollar bill. So what's the real value here? Number two, New, Jer New Jersey is the densest state in the United States with 1,263 people per square mile. Alaska is, in fact, the opposite, the least dense state with only one person per square mile. And our final fact of the day, in 22 out of the last 30 U.S. presidential elections, the tallest person was elected president. That includes Barack Obama in 2012, who is the same height as Mitt Romney. What is that per se? They're both six foot one and a half. I guess you have to throw the half in there. Don't know why, but sure. Kevin Sharp on 101.7 K Sam, your hometown radio station. You're listening to the greatest hour in country music, 90s at noon. Got your weather forecast coming up. Also got Kentucky Headhunters, Patty Lovelists, and Winona still on the way this hour. Well, to go along with our Friday the 13th festivities, did you hear that tomorrow there's going to be a big solar eclipse? People from Oregon all the way down here to Texas will get the full thing. Everyone else in the U.S. is getting a partial eclipse. The full shadow will pass over the coast of Oregon around 9.15 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. And then we'll move southeast through Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and here in Texas. And then we'll pass into the Gulf of Mexico around noon central time. It's called an annular eclipse. That means the moon is so far away right now, it's slightly smaller than the sun. That's why it's also called the Ring of Fire eclipse. No matter where you are, do not directly look at it, folks. Remember, it can damage your eyes. It may be cool, but it gonna hurt. Chris Jansen, all I need is you on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KCM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Lynn. Your weather forecast coming up. Okay, so again, we're talking about Friday the 13th today. You know, so many people actually do change their plans and stay home. You, businesses in the U.S., believe it or not, lose an estimated $800 to $900 million every time there is a Friday the 13th. Yeah, because so many people won't go outdoors, won't spend money. Well, they just stay at home, you know, like wrapped up in a blanket and who knows what and the you know, shades drawn and <laughs> what have you. Hey, here's the good news about that, though, right? Uh, this is the second Friday, the 13th of the year. First one back in January, and the next one won't be until September of 2024. Dustin Lynch here on 101.7. K. Sam is... We give you the top five signs that you might be the kind of monster who plays a draw 10 card in Uno. <laughs> so this draw 10 card, it's not in the original version. It's a no mercy version that includes a draw 10. Of course, playing a card that that vicious probably requires some kind of very dark and, and ominous soul that very few people possess. 
An evil, evil soul, we'll call it that. So to find out if you're one of them, let's go through this list. We got our five and then we'll pull out some honorable mentions as well. Number one, you take off your shoes in airplanes. For the love of God, why? <laughs> Number two, you give out raisins for Halloween. Nobody asked for those. Number three, you sign up to bring napkins to a potluck. Now, I might do that for budget's sake, but yeah, it's a potluck. It, nobody's asking for napkins. They're probably already going to have it. Number four, you think Ben Affleck was the best Batman. I will stand my ground on that to this day. And number five. Well, I don't know if this one's number five, but on the list here, it has number five. You wear a man bun. I don't think necessarily that means you're a monster who plays a draw 10, but either way. Here's some honorable mentions. You not only say okie dokie, but you follow it with artichokey. <laughs> uh, also, you tuck your sweater in. Uh, your favorite Girl Scout cookies are Thin Mints. And this final one, I don't agree with this because I'm not a Swifty myself, but it's been out for hours and you still haven't seen Taylor Swift's concert movie. Apparently that makes you a monster. I don't know what the world has come to anymore these days. Ay, ay, ay. Let's, let's relax a little bit. Let me give you this number one song. Lenny Wilson, Watermelon Moonshine, top of the charts this week, here on KSAM. 